Hello, welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday, April 4th, also known here on the Social Media Pessimist YouTube channel as Tina Pivik Day. Woo! Now it's day four million of quarantine, and if you have a birthday that falls within this span of time, that's rough. I don't need to hear my voice. Rolling with Hobie. So today, this video is fully dedicated to the 30th birthday of Miss Tina Pivik, Kirby. Tina Elizabeth Ker Pip Tina Elizabeth Pivik Kirby. It's a mouthful. Mmm. Oh, that is terrific. And you read that title correctly. Today, we're making Minnesota hot dish. Hot, don't you know? Hot. Oh, how's it going? Oh. Hot dish, don't you? We'll work on that. So today, a recipe that only takes about 10 minutes to put together and then bakes for an hour. So I love recipes where you do very little work and the oven pretty much does everything for you and then you get a delicious, incredible meal out of it. One of the first people to ever introduce me to this, the Minnesota staple hot dish, was Tina. Here's what you need to get started. Some sweet corn, green beans, 20 ounces of that cream of mushroom, medium yellow onion, coarse salt, black pepper, one pound of ground beef, and a bunch of them golden tater tots. Also good to have a baking dish, this one's three quarts and some cooking spray. Oh, by the way, I've never made hot dish before, so let's do this together. All right, we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 400. Snag one of your pans, like a skillet, because we're gonna brown that beef. So I got grass-fed Angus 8515. You can do whatever kind you like. A lot of people like that 8020. Throw that brick right in there. And then just do the obvious. If you don't know how to brown beef, then you shouldn't be watching a cooking channel. You should go to a video about how to brown beef and back, yeah. Now for what I understand, hot dish is really good for bringing to a potluck or a tailgate, or in this case, eating the entire casserole-like substance on your couch while watching reality TV with one fork and tears running down your face. But whatever, whatever you need to do to get you through. Okay, while that's brown for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this onion and then throw the minced diced, finely chopped onion into the uh, pan. I cry like a baby when I chop these, so. Tina, it's a great birthday present. You get to see me in pain and so does the world. You only need a fourth of a cup, so it makes it much easier. Also, I love when you do cooking videos online because everybody critiques your form of everything. You put out this like beautiful piece of content and then the comments will just be like, Chop the onion wrong. Oh, I'm starting to cry. Fourth of a cup. I'll put a little bit more because I love onion. There, fourth of, fourth of a cup. Bang! Don't sue me. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I'm an independent woman. As I fight back tears, it takes us to our first Minnesota fact. They're Minnesota facts. Did you guys know that Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes? Like, write it everywhere, it's like a slogan, it's like a thing. But when in actuality, they have 15,000 lakes. They're Minnesota facts. I'm gonna drain the fat. Ow. I'm gonna use a lid and drain the fat out of this meat. Very little fat. I'm healthy now. Bam, meat and onions. I didn't finely chop the onions. I like big old crunches of it, you know? You go there. Tina, remember that time you won that Minute to Win It trophy? It was a wild day. My friends and I get together and we just play Minute to Win It games. <laughs> okay, so first step in this Minnesota tradition. First step, it's like the third thing we're doing. Uh, you're gonna spoon this. Oven's about to preheat. You'll hear a beep, don't be alarmed. <laughs> Told ya. Get away from me, sir, I don't even know you. Think anybody's ever not had pepper spray and used Pam? Nope. I'm gonna add a little more salt to my meat and onion mixture because the Midwest loves retaining diabetes. Water! Oh, I should do, come on, Sean, you're a videographer. Act like it. I got a secondary camera and no cameraman. By the power of another camera and a tripod invested in me, I now pronounce you, what the hell am I talking about? You're gonna go ahead and line the bottom, from what I've seen Tina do, with your meat. Did I use a pan that was a little too big? Maybe. Now I'm worried I went. Hmm. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not packed in there, though. Okay. Improvise. 
I'm gonna switch from a three to a two quart. I like, I want it all to be packed in. Like when you go to take that first bite or you cut a slice out of it, it's all like in its dense. Dense. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? You know, I'm the one shooting and editing this video. I very well could have just kept out this boo boo and just, you know, this is how you guys know I'm honest. Keep them honest. Everybody from Minnesota watching this video right now is like, why is this person making videos? <laughs> Nothing like giving yourself more stuff to do later via sinking, dishwashing. Okay, now we're really packed in there. There we go. I like it, see? I think that'll work. I think if you're gonna use a three quart, you need like a pound and a half of beef. In a small bowl, combine soup and milk. Oh, you need milk too. <laughs> Scrolling up to the instructions. Good thing I have cheese. Hey, recipe. You don't say milk on here. Mrfood.com. It's a good URL. Half a cup of milk. Oh, I mean 20 ounces is not gonna, I, you need a, more than a small bowl. Putting 20 ounces of soup in a bowl. It's not a small bowl, it's a hearty bowl. Can opener. Instructions didn't say you needed that, but. All right, so you can get two small cans. I went with the family size, which is a, two small cans in one can. Don't look at that if you don't want to be grossed out. <laughs> oh God, hilarious. Nutrition conscious. But we don't care, because it's the Midwest. This is a comfort food. We're going through quarantine. I haven't seen my grandpa in months. He also lives in Detroit, so it's tough to see him. This looks like something my fraternity brothers would make me eat back in 07. I paid for my friends. Why do people even go to culinary school? I got this down. He says as he looks off of somebody's recipe that they made on a website, on a phone. Here's the combining. So my grocery store, everyone fights for stuff. So I got frozen corn and then canned green beans. It doesn't matter. I say that like I know what I'm talking about. Check that out. You ever see that one-handed? Until you get to the other side and it all falls. And you gotta clean up for an hour. Don't forget to drain your beans. Go ahead and just kind of layer these green beans on here. Green bean layer, check. Now some corn. Now here's where you can kind of get fun with it. Like I've seen a lot of different hot dishes. Like you can use a mixed vegetable bag with like got those little, little carrots in it. What am I doing talking? Um, Tina's favorite is green beans and corn. So I'm doing green beans and corn. There we go. Corn layer, check. Kind of evenly spread this over it. It's almost like a sausage gravy consistency with none of the ingredients. It's jiggling like my buttocks will. We just got brand new spatulas, so this worked out well for me. Now that everybody not in the Midwest is thoroughly grossed out, so I'm gonna use this to kind of coat it. It's almost like papier-mâché. What is papier-mâché? <laughs> Keep going. While we sprinkle this cheese, how about another Minnesota fact. They're Minnesota facts. Some notable people from Minnesota. Josh Hartnett, Prince, Bob Dylan, Judy Garland, Academy Award winner probably, Sean William Scott. Yes! And my favorite novelist and playwright, Sinclair Lewis. They're Minnesota facts. So I'm gonna go a lot of cheese. Dairy fat keeps raining on my hot dish. Well that looks great. Look at it, it's almost like the fattest five layer dip of all time. Now probably the most fun part, other than taking a quick look at your setup and realizing you've destroyed your kitchen early in the morning. I'm going or Ida, Oregon and Idaho. They didn't have any Minnesota tots at the store, which I think's, well, it's probably a good thing. Just because Minnesota uses them doesn't mean we should be using the farms of Minnesota to make tots. So here's where you can get creative with it if you wanna make like a cool design or if you wanna spell out Tina. Uh, that'd be cool. I'm gonna do what I've seen Tina do, where you literally just pack these in, like people in Corona bed, no <laughs> Like people all standing really close to each other in line at a roller coaster when everyone's allowed to be out and about. Yep, better analogy. Wow. Time lapse plus cool music. Actually, you know what? Time lapse plus Minnesota fight song. Wow. If you're a fan of things organized neatly, your sensories are firing right now. Look at that. 
Look at it. Before we put it in the oven, it's time for another Minnesota fact. They're Minnesota facts. Did you know that in Minnesota, there are more golfers per capita than anywhere else in the country? I don't know how they figured that out, but that's another Minnesota. They're Minnesota facts. Middle of the oven. There we go. Gotta go way past, you know? 35 to 40, let's go 40. I'll check it. I have an Alexa and a Siri and an oven and a microwave timer, but I mean, how freaking cute. This was super rude of me, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't cut that. Everyone's OCD. I'm so sorry. As the hot dish bakes in the oven, do the dishes. That way when you're finally done and ready to eat it, it's gonna taste that much better. And speed up the footage so you don't make people watch you clean up longer than you have to. <laughs> that was very, eh, he did something bad and he'll be going to jail. Why don't you have a seat for me real quick? Where am I? Just wash your hands. All right, dishes are done. I've been drinking these Nun, Noon hydration things. Allie buys these. It's like 16 ounces of water. It's like having an airborne or vitamin C tablets or whatever. It's like really good for your immunity. So the packaging says so. What have you guys been doing to stay healthy? It's time for another Minnesota fact. They're Minnesota facts. Did you guys know that Tonka trucks were developed and are still manufactured in Minnesota today? They're Minnesota facts. Oh my God, looking so good. All right, our timer's gone off. Welcome Ellie to the vlog. She's making her own breakfast. She doesn't want to eat my potato barrels on top of meat and cheese. That's fine. Um, it's been 42-ish minutes. Oh, what do you think? Tina, even though you're watching this video after I finished it, how does it look? Is it done? Listen to that crackle. Tina, happy 30th birthday, hot dish on your special day. Woke up early, made this. I hope this justifies as a birthday gift. I also don't think that I can bring this to you because of social distancing, so you have to enjoy it through me, which is my favorite kind of present for other people. It sounds really selfish. Okay, I'm gonna attempt, do you cut this? People in Minnesota are freaking out right now about how bad I'm doing this. Now Milton, yeah. don't be greedy. Let's pass it along and make sure everyone gets a piece. You kinda just spoon it out, huh? It's kind of more of like a, I mean, just the way it kind of like scoops out of there and looks, you know? Art. Hi, you're Art. Oh yeah, look at that, dude. You go there. Scooped out of the casserole dish. You got the barrels of potatoes, the beef, the cream of mushroom, green beans, corn. Oh my God, doesn't that look so Midwest? Midwest is a synonym for the word great, just so you know. So if I say that looks so Midwest, that looks so great. Huh? Look at that. Use a little bit of that pepper. I love pepper. It also just makes stuff look really good. Like if you're doing food content and you can put pepper on stuff, it really makes everything else pop. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am a chef, I can pour stuff into a casserole dish. It's cooled down enough, I think. I might still burn my mouth off, but what am I doing, right? Got another month of this. Month, like it's not gonna be three. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that cream of mushroom really does tie everything together. You got the crunch, the crisp of the tater tots, that creaminess of that mushroom soup over the meat. I think it was comfort food at its finest. Those beans and the corn in there to give you that glimmer of hope that the word health could ever be used in the same sentence as hot dish. That's a win. First time trying it, I know it's easy, but come on, I'm not a chef for someone who's confident in himself. Oh, and that cheddar cheese in there, dude. You guys, thank you so much for watching today's video on Hot Dish. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a lot more fun kitchen stuff, so would appreciate the support. Like it, do it, all that stuff, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this entire casserole dish on my couch while crying. See you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. 30 videos, 30 days. Mmm. Gina, let's rage. Take the boot